So today we're going to make a cylinder that intersects another cylinder. Now to make this work, there's this saddle shape that we have to figure out. And this is actually easier than you think. What we're going to do is we're going to plot how long these lines are. If we know how long they are and where they are on the circle, we can kind of plot them with some graph paper. So we have a two view of this. This is the pipe that we're going to mess with, and this is the side view. And this is the front view. So this tube seen from the front is a circle. And we can see it doesn't end right there where it hits this edge. It crawls up it. It crawls up it right about to there. So already we have a distance. If we made a thing like this and made this distance here and here, and we made this distance here and here, and made this distance in the middle too, we would get our saddle shape and we could cut this thing out and it would wrap around this object. It's going to look something like this. But we want to be a little bit more precise. So I'm going to draw the end view of this and I'm going to do it right here. So we have four points. One, two, three, four. This line is this line. It actually goes to here. And these two lines is this line. So we're going to draw this thing. First, we need to figure out how big around this is. So we've got a piece of paper. We make a mark. Now, we could get this distance, 4 squares times 3.141 equals something or other. But this works pretty good. This is one quarter of the distance, so if I do this four times, I will have it. So right here, there's one, two, three, Four. We're actually hitting this side right here. We have to make sure we don't get confused. If we cut this out, this is going to make a cylinder. So we have to plot some points on it. So this line is going to be this long. This line is going to be this long. And this line is going to be short, and this line is going to be long, and we can kind of see that there is our saddle shape working out. We could kind of guess and get pretty close to it, but we want to be a little bit more exact. We want some more lines in here. So I'm going to make some tick marks halfway through. We don't know how long these are going to be yet. So now we need to know where they are here. Now it's not going to be in the middle. It's going to be in the middle between these two. So right about there. You can see this distance and this distance are about the same. So we bring this line up until it hits this. This is how long these little middle marks are going to be. So if I put this right there and I take a line this way, wherever this line crosses one of these, we put a, we put a point. So now we can see our shape looks a little better. If 
If we want to be even more accurate, we could make some marks in between these and make some more marks in here. We could. But this is going to work for now. So I'm going to cut this thing out and we're going to see if we're right. So now we can see this. If we curl it up, it's round on that end, but from the side, we've got half of a circle. So that'll fit a that'll fit another cylinder. So look at that. It's like a snot. So if we wanted to do this with paper, we'd want to put some tabs on here so we could actually attach it. But let's say we're making this out of sprinkler pipe and we use this to trace onto the sprinkler pipe. We could just cut it with a saw and then cement it in. Or if we're making this out of steel tubing, we could just weld it. Now if you wanted actually air to go through here, we would want to trace this part over here and, and cut it out. So we've just done this. What if we didn't want this square? What if we wanted that at an angle like that? How would we figure this out? Well, let's go draw one and find out. Right, so here's our tube. And it's going to have a saddle shape like this, but it's going to be a little awkward. This is actually going to go to the center of this tube, so it's going to be kind of like this. It's the same idea. We're going to plot it. So now we have this thing divided up into four pieces so we can plot along here. Now we're going to do the same with this piece. We have a whole bunch of lines here, so it's going to be a little tricky to keep track of them all. This needs to be a little bit longer. But we've got distances now. We know that where this joins in, it's going to be this long. And in the middle, it's going to be this long. And halfway through, it's going to be this long. It's where it's going to hit this thing right here. So we can start plotting this. This distance is a quarter of the way around. So if I do this four times, I'll have the circumference. Now for the centers of these, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. It's easy to break things in this, into halves. And to get these lines straight, I'm just using this and looking at these lines and trying to be parallel. Right, so I'm going to start plotting. Where this is, is right there and right here. This next line, is right there. This should be this contour. Let's see if we're right. So if we curl this up, and we look at that, it's round. So here's the pipe we did earlier, and look at that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you found this instructive for, to do these difficult looking things with materials. If you like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing because I'm going to do some more things like this.